page 17, the honey bee. The honey bee, again, is in C major. It's in cut time, similar to what we just played. Uh, we're getting more practice at using the different fingers. This has rests in it. It's got a half rest. Now, in cut time, a half note gets a count, therefore a half rest gets a count. Well, yeah, okay. The count lasts for a full beat, so it's like in the second measure. When you have the half note in the right hand, it, if I go on a one, two, one, two, the rest starts on two. So I'm going to hold the half note down until two starts. So it's one, two. So you lift up on two. One, two. And that's an important. Uh, as we get into other rests and other things, it's important. And the hands are going to be lifting up at different times. And, okay, so we've got to get this part down. Don't have a lot to talk about, so I'll talk about the phrases. Now, we've had phrases before I didn't say anything, but I'll say a little bit about it now. It's the curved line over the melody. Okay, and the melody is actually the right hand in, in this piece. The other hand is playing the same notes as a melody, but technically it's it's more of a harmony type thing. If they wanted it to be of a melody type thing, they would have given phrase markings for that also. And they're treating it like accompaniment. Yes, the accompaniment can play the same notes as a melody without being the melody. It, it, it can do that. Surprise, surprise. Huh? So in the first line, you have phrases over the different things, but that's easy because you got rests in between the phrases. So you have to separate the phrases. Now you, a phrase is where you're going to connect the notes. The sound, the next note sta starts, that note ends, they're connected. There's no silence between them, okay? That's the phrase. Now if the phrase weren't there, you'd play it exactly the same. The first line and the, the last line too. No difference. But the middle line is different. They're phrasing two measures each, the first two and the last two. So in between the phrases, we want a little bit of silence so we can tell that we're ending one phrase and starting another. It's like a musical sentence or talking. It's not taking time to take a breath. It's not that long, but it's similar to that idea. So if I play the second and third measure of the second line in the right hand, it's this. So I'm going to lift up and put down between them so I get a little bit of silence. Now the left hand is accompaniment. Now sometimes the accompaniment will break with the phrasing in the right hand to help it. Most of the time it doesn't. And I'm, I'm suggesting in this case don't. Just keep the left hand going smooth, the whole thing. So the two hands for those two measures, the second and third measure, the second line, it's this. Because the left hand is accompanying, it's not trying to play it. If it were playing the melody too, it would be marked that way. It would be it's like a duet thing here, okay, sort of. So there is a distinction between the two ways of doing it. At the end of the second line, going into the third line, there's a, again, you're, it's different phrasing, so we want a little bit of silence. So if I go the last measure of the second line, going into the first measure of the third line, it would be that. So I lift up and come back down. It's like a oh, thing between the phrases. In the right hand, the left hand doesn't have anything marked. I wouldn't worry about it. Now some teachers may tell you, yeah, go ahead and let the right hand follow the left hand. It's an interpretive thing, but I, later on it's important that you distinguish the two. So I'm telling you now, since the left hand doesn't have any phrasing in it, play the left hand smooth. Just connect them. So the last measure again. Okay. The left hand is just harmony accompaniment. Let's try this out. Uh, give us four counts, but again, those are half notes and we'll play it together slowly, okay? So you're in C position again. You can tell if you look at the finger numbers and then I'll count again. One, two, ready, go.
wrist. 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 